Hello everyone and welcome back to another awesome episode of CSK News. Hope you guys all enjoy. Not going to waste any of your time. Let's get right into the news. Our first story coming from Flipside Tactics and their newest formal member, which is Ricky Lumpkin, an actual NFL player. I guess a former NFL player. He's not only an Indianapolis Colts practice squad member. He used to play for the Arizona Cardinals and also the Oakland Raiders. And again, like I said just briefly before, he is now in the practice squad or the offseason squad for the Indianapolis Colts. So he is technically still an NFL player and he's going to bring a lot to the organization. This is a huge announcement a few days ago. Just touching on now because yesterday's video was already full but this is going to offer a whole new audience to Flipside Tactics and the whole esports industry. As you guys know we already had celebrities like Rick Fox taking over Team Echo Fox and kind of naming it after himself. Now we have Ricky Lumpkin coming to Flipside Tactics and we're not really you know too sure nothing's been confirmed so far on what his role in the organization might be. Now he did bring specializations obviously being an NFL player he brought things such as experience in athletics and also social media and handling with media as well. So my, you know my guesstimate on, on this in my opinion is is going to be he's probably most likely either going to train the team you know there's a lot of sides of CSGO we don't see in terms of training you know whether it be weight training or just mental and physical training you know your body to actually sit down and play these video games but also handling media so he could be on the side of things where talking to players how they should handle you know interviews or talking with esports analysts and those kind of things and how they should handle themselves on live television so there's a lot of things that Ricky Lumpkin can offer this team and again it's a whole new opportunity for esports in general and especially flip side tactics and esports sports and CSGO scene having all these you know future NFL players former NFL players that kind of thing coming to the scene uh, you know you guys had a long time ago we also had Shaquille O'Neal being involved with the CSGO scene so a lot of new things happening and this is one of them and again I don't expect Ricky to come on to Flipside Tactics and have that whole team just be beefed up like Freakazoid like and you know that kind of physical training there's a lot of things he can't offer that we really don't know about and I'm not sure how they're gonna pay this guy you know there's not a lot of a lot of money right now in this kind of role for teams at least that I know of but again it's a really big expansion and you can see probably a lot more of this thing in the future with a lot of these athletes coming down to this kind of esports uh, organizations and trying to offer their help. In other news guys, E-League finally came out and announced their first three of six groups. Now the other three groups probably have been announced by now so make sure to check up on that. But as of right now the only information out is group A, B, and C. We do have group A and a big complaint coming out of this because most of the groups in this group are actually North American teams. A lot of people are complaining because in LAN events and especially online events and all these leagues that North American teams already play each other so it really doesn't offer much much diversity or much difference in this group. So we do have Luminosity, Liquid, Cloud9, and Team Renegades all in Group A. Renegades being the only non-American team in that group. So again, kind of a weird display of Group A. Then for Group B, a lot of people also upset because NIP is the only Tier 1 team in this. I kind of disagree with this because G2 is also in the group. Now the full Group B is NIP, G2, Tai Lu, and Optic Gaming. Another good group. Definitely better and more diverse than Group A. And then finally the Group C, the last group that's actually been released as of right now, is Astralis, CLG, SK Gaming, and energy. Now a lot of people complain about group B and C because NIP and Astralis were the only tier 1 teams in those groups and probably should automatically win those groups. Now again, you have teams like Tyloo and G2 also um, alongside NIP which could definitely upset some teams there. And again with Astralis, I do kind of agree Astralis's group C is kind of weak and they probably should win that group. But again, you can't blame them with the 24 teams to choose from. It's really hard to not have though those weaker tier teams alongside, you know, dominant tier 1 teams in the group. So again, I have really no complaints for these first three groups make sure to look out for more e-league news guys now how this is going to go is that when it starts on may 27th that's on a friday night they're going to play group a through that week and i believe it should be week by week on top of that so as of right now group a will be the first group playing and that's the north american teams which kind of makes sense them being probably the most popular and most watching of the e-league as of right now in terms of fan base i could be wrong there but it should be really fun so make sure to look out for more e-league news guys i am so hyped about this and a really quick story today coming from valve and former team liquid coach gbj is a huge update to CSGO and the possibility of the future live streams or however it's televised. And this is a really cool concept. I definitely will be touching more on this in the future. But the possibility of these live streams showing not only 5v5, as you guys know, each CSGO team has five players, but possibly 6v6 with the added in feature of maybe spectating the coach or hearing the coach's mic on top of the players for a possible feature for a live stream or televised. So you guys watching at home can have more perspective and a third perspective or, you know, an additional perspective on the game. And this is a really cool feature that GB James apparently has talked about with not only Liquid Hiko, but also Valve uh, officials as well. So it's really cool to see what he had to say on this. There was only a quick article released about this, but definitely going to be talking about this in the future, about the possibility of maybe adding that in feature. As you guys know, when you currently watch CSGO tournaments or LAN events, you can hear uh, just the Comcasters kind of over-talking everything. They've been possibly talking about how you can now maybe add in the feature of hearing the coaches and what they say, and then maybe having a cutoff point. So after a certain like 20-second mark, you can no longer hear the coaches, but only hear the Comcasters, and possibly also be able to hear the additional 
additional players as well. But of course, there's so many things to go into this. You know, they don't want people stream watching that kind of thing, which is always a threat, but not really. They can obviously cover that up. So a lot of big features possibly being added to the future of CSGO. And again, when I get more information on this, I will definitely touch on it. But I think having a coach's perspective would be so cool. Being able to see what these coaches actually do and how they actually help their players and what they're actually saying during gameplay would be very entertaining to watch. And another short news, the former Team EFRAG will now continue on as Team Mortal Kombat. That's the name they have now chosen as their organization has disbanded the team. And the team will continue individually now as Mortal Kombat, which is a really sick team name. And I do hope the best for them. Their, their actual lineup now is Spy Leader, Victor, Dreamer, Bubble, and NKL. You guys probably have most heard of NKL, I'm sure. I mean, that's the only one that I've actually heard about. But they're actually going to continue. They are a pretty successful Bulgarian team. You know, a really good win rate. Obviously, haven't played the best teams in the world, but a very successful team. And they had a really good run earlier this year. Notable wins against Gambit Gaming and Penta, which again, aren't the highest tier team wins, but still pretty decent wins. So best of luck to the organization. They're kind of taking on the Astralis role like they did at TSM. They're going to continue on under their own name until they can find an organization to actually sponsor the team. So best of luck to them and the whole EFRAG network. And lastly, in today's news, guys, I'm not McSkillet. He's definitely best for this kind of stuff. He touched on it literally after an hour after it came out. Chroma 3 cases came out, so go ahead. Feel free to waste your money on that. I don't advise it. I will not be opening any cases on this channel. But yeah, guys, the skins look pretty like usual. They look like crap. Like always, you guys are absolutely amazing. Seriously. And the best part was, I actually asked you guys in my last video, hey, face cam, no face cam. And the majority of you guys said, Jake, we love your face. And I seriously cannot tell you how much I appreciate that. So I will continue on with face cam. But for those of you haters out there, the people who actually get disturbed by my face, again, I can't blame you. I got a creepy, buggy-eyed face. And I will be doing serious videos in the future without face cam. So make sure to tune in for those videos at least. And again, I do appreciate your critique. And I understand why you guys would not want face cam but it is kind of a personal thing that I do that kind of differentiates me from other news channels so as always live love laugh a lot remember I like you I'll see you guys in a couple days in another CSGO news video now really important this weekend I am gone all weekend at a track meet just watching the events I love to run I love to watch it so uh, actually tomorrow guys at the time you're seeing this tomorrow's video will be the special Paula compilation video which is going to be a super awkward video and hopefully a good one for you guys hope you all enjoy that and then on Sunday I'll be back with CSGO news and then later next week I'll be back with uh, funny name tag videos as well. So as always, live, love, laugh, not remember, I like you, I'll see you guys, I love, I love, I love. <gasps> goodbye. Woo!